Welcome, brothers and sisters in Christ, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Franciscus, a, a webinar series on the wisdom of Pope Francis to inspire everyone to mission in this year of Misho Ad Gentes. This is a project of the CBCP Episcopal Commission on Mission in collaboration with Dominus Est. I am Margot Salcedo, Editor-in-Chief of Dominus Est, and I am honored to introduce our main host for today, Monsignor Esteban Bonglo, Executive Secretary of the CBCP Episcopal Commission on Mission and National Director of the Pontifical Mission Societies Philippines. Hello, Monsignor Bong. Hello, Margot, and thank you for uh, introducing me. And hello, Po, your eminence, Lolo Densi, uh, the Archbishop Emeritus of the Archdiocese of Manila, His Eminence uh, Galdencio Rosales. Hello, Po, to the bishops and priests and uh, religious sisters and brothers present. Hello po to Ambassador Tita De Vivia at sa lahat sa inyo ng mga kapatid. Welcome to our uh, webinar series, uh, hoping, uh, praying to inspire uh, our viewers and participants to mission uh, through the help of the writings of our beloved Pope Francis. Uh, making use of his uh, encyclical letter apostolic exhortation, uh, one document each month. For this month, for this afternoon, uh, it's his apostolic exhortation entitled Gaudete et Exaltate. Uh, Margot, Latin yon, ha? Latin yon. Uh, alam mo ba kung anong ibig sabihin ng Gaudete et Exaltate? Siyempre, nag-aral ako, Bodzi. It means rejoice and be glad. Wow. So it is the apostolic exhortation of Pope Francis on the call to holiness in today's world. And um, so this afternoon, it will be made much clearer to us that the call to holiness uh, is a wonderful call, is a happy adventure addressed not only to popes, uh, cardinals, bishops, priests, religious sisters and brothers, but in fact, it is addressed to each one of us, to all of us, whoever we are. I guess, I'm sure, including you, Margo. <laughs> oh my gosh, pwede po pala yun. Tingnan po natin kung tatablahan ako. <laughs> With the wisdom also of Lolo Densi. So, but before we proceed and see if uh, we will be inspired to holiness, let us first prepare to become holy by putting ourselves in the holy presence of God with our opening prayer. And it's in the form of a song from the very holy uh, sisters of the Order of Augustinian Recollects. Let's listen to this and pray.
Maraming salamat po, uh, beloved Augustinian Recollect Sisters and Miss Kim Nemenzo for the beautiful and prayerful rendition of Ave Maria. Yes, thank you so much. And Monsi, I just have to say, um, in the Zoom today, uh, we have so many um, sister participants uh, because this um, episode of Franciscus is open to all, but especially dedicated to women. So we have the poor Claire's here. We have Order of St. Benedict. We have um, Columban sisters I saw also. And, and Monsi, even from my very own congregation, congregation of Chef Jesse. I saw Chef Jesse in Choco in, in the audience also. So later, Paul will also go through and see all of the orders who are here. I think we have almost a hundred mother sisters, mother butlers even in the audience. And I think they're all excited because of our dashing debonair, dashing debonair speaker. <laughs> Yes, uh, so we are happy that you are, you are with us this afternoon, dear brothers and sisters. And um, now uh, Margo will uh, start the introduction of our beloved resource person. Oh, um, we are so um, blessed and honored to have with us uh, this afternoon um, someone who is already almost 90 years old. Our speaker was born in Batangas in 1932. So he has a ala e, ala e charm. Um, so uh, he was ordained a priest way back in 1958. Monsi, ilan taon na po kayo noon? Oh, hindi pa ako ang ang ating beloved Cardinal then si uh, hindi pa ako pinanganak. <laughs> Wala pa. So, so hindi pa po kayo pinapanganak. He was already prefect of discipline and then rector of the minor seminary of Lipa. And then in 1970, he was given his first parish assignment in the barrio of Banay Banay. I hope I pronounced that right. And then later he was assigned as parish priest in Batangas. And Monty, would you like yes. to share? 1974, ayun, nine years old na ako, no? nine years old na ako. In 1974, Lolo Densi was named Auxiliary Bishop of the Archdiocese of Manila, if I'm not mistaken, the first Batanggenyo to be so named. And in 1980, yon graduate ako sa high school, ha? 1980, he was appointed rector of the Archdiocesan Major Seminary San Carlos uh, Seminary in Makati City. And on June 9, 1982, he was named Coadjutor Bishop of Malaybalay, Bukidnon, Mindanao, and later on installed as its uh, second uh, local ordinary on September 14, 1984. And then, so we know him as Archbishop uh, of Manila, but apparently he also became Archbishop of Lipa in 1992 and later head of the CBCP Episcopal Commission for the Clergy. And then in 2003, he was appointed Archbishop of Manila. In 2006, he was elevated to the College of Cardinals by uh, no less than Cardinal uh, um, Pope Benedict XVI. And then in 2007, he joined the Vatican's Council of Cardinals for the study of organizational and economic concerns of the Apostolic See. Alam mo ba, Margo, uh, kasama ko noon sa Rome nung maging Cardinal si Lolo Densi, no? Uh, no. Because of his uh, generosity. Uh, uh, libre po, libre po. <laughs> Thank well, you po very much, uh, Lolo Densi, for that once-in-a-lifetime privilege to join you in the uh, public consistory. But before we hear Lolo Densi, let us first uh, welcome uh, the Bishop of Cubao, who is also the chairman of the CBCP Episcopal Commission on the mutual relations between bishops and consecrated persons, His Excellency Most Reverend uh, Onesto Onkyoko. Hello po, ako si Bishop Ness, 
At uh, unang-una, ako po ay nagpapasalamat sa Episcopal Commission on Mission at gumagawa na silang paraan upang lalo natin magampanan ang hamon nating pasasalamat sa 500 Years of Christianity. Patuloy ang misyon. And thank you for the Dominus S Group dahil sa kanilang pag-organize, parang patuloy po ang ating paghubog, pagtanggap para mapalalim ang ating kaalaman tungkol sa misyon ng simbahan at ano ang hamon sa ating kapanahunan. Sa ating monthly reflection ngayon po ay ipofocus sa sentro sa tawag ng kabanalan, Call to Holiness. At ang basihan po ay ang ikatlong apostolic letter ni Pope Francis, Gaudete et Exultate. Magalak ka at matuwa ka. At ito po ay uh, binigyan ng pansing ang pinakapundasyon ng tawag sa atin ng Diyos upang magpakabanal, upang maging tanda sa mundong ito ng kabanalan ng Diyos. At ang binibigay po sa atin ng pinaka pamantayan ay ang eight beatitudes. Kasi kung tutusin mo, kung pag-isip mo ay pag-isip sa mundong ito, wala, walang kwenta yung beatitudes. Bakit magsaya ka kung hirap na hirap ka sa buhay? Bakit hindi ka lumaban kung ikaw ay nilulupig? Pakita mo yung lakas ng kamao. Pero hindi yon ang pamantayan ng kaharian ng Diyos. Nandyan ang hamon, maging matyaga. Pairalin yung anong makatao, makadiyos, makakalikasan. Yung tama. Dahil ito ang sinasabi sa atin ng mga beatitudes. Pinagpala ka kung sakali man ikaw ay naghihirap para sa katarungan dahil hindi ka mananatili sa ganong kalagayan. Ang Diyos ay hindi natutulog. Kaya kailangan lamang mga kapatid ang tiyaga, ang pasensya at pananalig. At mga kapatid, mapalad po tayo dahil ang magbibigay ng kanyang reflection ay kilala natin po at siya rin ay tinitingala, tinitingnan kapag ang kabanalan ay ang pinag-uusapan. So let's welcome, tanggapan natin ang ating magsasalita, walang iba kung hindi ang kanyang kabunyihan, Gaudencio Cardinal Rosales. Hello, uh, Dengsi. We are all ears to you. Okay, all right. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Happy to be with you. When I broke into the scene, I thought I was in the middle of a recollection of religious sisters. <laughs> but uh, finally, find out that this is open to, to many people. So I'm, I'm, very, I'm very thankful that uh, you invited me to share some of my thoughts precisely on the Gaudete et Exultate. Yeah. There is a connectivity between the writings of uh, Pope Francis. First of all, he gave us Evangelii Gaudium, the joy, the joy of uh, the gospel, the good news. Good news brings joy. And now here comes <clears throat> Gaudete et Exultate, rejoice and be glad. Uh, the question I will ask all of you who are listening, are you happy? Yes. Yes. Yes, Pop. 
I read. Oh. I want to everyone. Are you happy? Yes. Oh, po. oh yes, po. Then this exaltation will confirm that is why God has called us. Yes. Pope Francis himself said that uh, he is writing yes, not new things, but he said this as a proposal again. Actually, the word he used is repropose uh, the call to all Christians. So it's for all of us. And it's already been said. It's been, it has been taught. We've been reminded of this. The call is for all of us to be holy. In fact, it says that the, all Christians in the teaching of the church, the old teachings, he said, in any state of life, any walk of life are called to the fullness of Christian life and to the perfection of charity. All are called to holiness. We must be holy as the Father, our Father is holy. He said, I am going to re-propose. So nothing new. And he said, I'm not going to write a study on holiness. He said, there are so many holy people around us. Unfortunately, who make news are those who are not holy. Not only around us, uh, not, I want to say about our neighbors, but even in our social life, national life, who are the people that make news. People who sometimes criticize. People, but he said, there are signs of goodness even in your neighborhood. That's what we were saying. That's exactly what we were saying here. Maybe your neighbor is a saint. That's if you take your first reflection on this. He said, then we start giving examples of those who are holy, even in our time, naming some. Some are saints and some are going to be saints. Yes, he named Bakita, Josephine Bakita, uh, Dominic Savio. Uh, well, of course, there's a, there's a childishness, not many, uh, Calcutta, and about to be saints like just a cuckoo, oh my, he said, could, could even be your neighbor, he said. Yes. And so he said, yes, be happy. The news we carry is a noise of joy. Joy, he said. Or oh, there are, uh, well, there, there are sometimes so do happy, uh, happy, so, so do goodness, uh, so do uh, holiness. Even in the practice of religion, he said, some people will just because they have heard about something good, just because they believe it is the good. Uh, okay. So he said, no. And is that religion? And so we said, oh, I take only what I can make. I think I achieve this with my own, with my own will, with all my struggles. Is that goodness in religion? I said, no, there are. Be careful. But for the rest, he said, there is great, great, great encouragement. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> I was attending, uh, I, I'll try to, uh, I'll try to include some of my experiences. Uh, 
about this thing of why should we be holy? Why should we have be happy? And uh, it, it will touch on the. I think. Uh, let me check on this. I, I just want to be make. I want to. I, I just want to to make sure. Uh, okay. Uh, here it is. The fifth beatitude. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. And it said, giving, and it said, it's forgiving uh, in our lives. It is measure of perfection. I was attending a, uh, a meeting in Korea uh, way back. And the subject matter is precisely the achievement of peace. And one Catholic speaker, a priest, stood up. After they have described that all the peace is after, it's a civil, no war, all agreements, yes. This priest stood up. And he said, There will be no peace then, unless there is forgiveness. The first time that was mentioned in that international meeting of Holy Faith, as long as man is not able to forgive the fifth beatitude, there will be no peace. After that, talk. He approached the priest, a Muslim from uh, a very educated Muslim uh, from London. He made the reply. God gave me a lot to reflect on. After all this, Wars, skirmishes, now I said, we need forgiveness. And yet, when Pope Francis was talking of this, I'll not mention all of them, but maybe the good thing is for, for all of us to have a copy of it and Read it, article by article. The Lord is with us. And Pope Francis told us, if you go one by one, all the eight beatitudes, he said, Holiness stands in the middle of this eight. Thing. You will find out that the Beatitudes speak of going against the flow. He said, to go against the flow. Blessed are the poor. Oh my God. And what do the businessmen and the bankers talk about? Makati. All those financial institutions. Wall Street in New York. And Jesus said, Blessed are the poor. Is that what our human hearts really want? And how true is this? That every item in the beatitude runs across the great, you know, my ambition, desire, life. It cannot be done.
When he comes, Pope Francis, he said, okay, it is impossible. Impossible. It's against what your natural likes are. Your ambition, your education. Yes, education has been so guided and formulated in such a way that today educators and teachers have geared the formation under the banner of competition. And blessed are the poor, and blessed are the meek. No. Not possible. And I will read to you. We can only practice them if the Holy Spirit fills us with his power and free us from our weaknesses, our selflessness, our complacency, our pride, etc. You'll find out so only with the Holy Spirit, only with the Holy Spirit. Only with God. As we find out, go through this, it's a lot, perhaps, and everything, everything is in. Who will be first? Not only his business, even in education. Who will top the class? Whose college will be the first? Even in athletics, Will be the champion. May good, may be a good thing to go through all this against the flow. And not possible really without God. Then I just try. No, just competition like that convention we attended in Korea, all discussion. No. It's time to forgive and to move on. Forgiveness brings peace. That is the way of Jesus. A little surprising, you know, that after the resurrection, that Jesus rose from the dead. Nobody wants to believe. I said, good with God. When he was with us, we, uh, we don't believe. Yeah, no, no. Even Peter said, no, you should not suffer, Lord, no. And the Lord said, you do not relish. You devil. You don't relish God's position. Yeah. And then the, the, when Jesus prophesied, no, on the third day I will rise again. Oh no, that will not happen to you, Lord. So difficult because he was so offended. Now, look, Jesus was offended. Jesus was injured. Jesus was the victim. And he was betrayed. Uh, naturally, the disciples were but first of all, they couldn't believe that Jesus would die. All the more they could believe that Jesus all the more they couldn't believe that Jesus would rise again. And Jesus could read their feelings, their heart. They want to run away in shame. He said the two disciples went to Emmaus. There's nothing to hope for. 
in disgrace. This is a something for them. He knew what they felt about how they have behaved, how have they turned against Christ. They're back. And so, you want pardon? They couldn't say that. They want to be friends again? They couldn't say that. So, Jesus said it first. Tell to the women, tell my brothers, I am going to see them in Galilee. Why Galilee? Because it all started from Galilee, in Galilee, yes. Most of them are Galileans, by the way. But Jesus is also from Nazareth, which is part of Galilee area. Ah. They met there. And the me and the greeting was always peace. Peace. Meaning to say, I have forgiven you. You are now my friends again. Ah. Without saying, hey, I am so beautiful. Without saying, come again. Without saying, oh, everything is all right. He just took the man. Let's have lunch together. Yeah. There are many ways. Now I tell this to you. When a man is a peaceful man, and a man is at peace, believe me, there are many ways of saying, I forgive you. Just as there are many ways of saying, I love you. Yeah. And so, picking up from the eight Beatitudes, Pope Francis led us to the truth. It's a battle. It's a battlefield. You just Meet it, no. It was planned that way by the Lord. Yeah. You're up against everything that I have taught you. Very good. Weeping, mourning, fight for justice, fight for purity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's always a, always a fight. But you cannot do it alone. You cannot do it alone. And he said, the Holy Spirit. Only with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Prayer. Oh. He said, Although, in the beginning, well, there are only uh, six chapters, uh, five chapters, six chapters in it. Only, uh, only at the beginning, he said, 
I am not going to write you a treatise right, on spirituality or what. No, no, no. But nonetheless, you had to mention this thing. You cannot do this without prayer. Uh, without prayer. You cannot do this without prayer. Yeah. And he said something about prayer. Yeah. You cannot do this without prayer. And, uh, and uh, when I was in Mindanao, I, I tell you this story. Mindanao, I was 11 years here. With those 11 years, at least I had at least two boat rides where I think we would sink. I really do not know how we survived that road We're flying from. Cebu back to Kagen de Oro, Kagen de Oro back to Mo, Balay Balay. In that way, really, uh, we attended uh, a retreat in Cebu and we took the, some, the, 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 the sea was really rough, but some of the uh, priests took the plane, but we already had our, uh, our ticket, so we took the boat and we were 15, was, yeah, we really, we really sunk. In fact, that night, one, one boat with 70 people sunk in the Camotes Island. I think a, a good number of them drowned. Yeah. When it was rough, really, the boat was, uh, oh, that's the first time I, I have experienced the boat's propeller got off. I mean, when, when, when the boat goes down, up, down, and up, yeah, when it's down or up, the propeller of the, bo of the boat does not touch the water anymore. So the whole boat was shaking like a giant uh, electric fan. Oh, okay. we're just waiting when it will tilt and that will be the end. And then somebody said, let us pray. Let us pray. I saw one and then one of the priests led a prayer. Everybody was answering. Everybody was answering. Yeah. Pope Francis said, prayer is indis indispensable. And yeah. But in prayer, the rest of Avila said this. There are two things we need. It's quoted from here. Then. You need time to be alone. And you need time for quiet and silence. Silence and aloneness. Silence and solitude. Silence. To be alone with God, open to the transcendence, in prayer, ready for adoration. Yeah. That is that. This is not a pretty fun uh, holiness or prayer. He said, but you need this. We need this and even give more examples of uh, among us. Again, I mentioned about riding a boat. Yeah. I have traveled numberless in times between Cebu, Bohol, and Cagayan de Oro, Butuan. Yeah, I couldn't 
remember how many times. One night, I took the boat ride from Cagayan de Oro. No, in the other way, Cebu to Cagayan de Oro. Yeah. And when I go travel by boat, I take the third class. I don't take the cabin and what? No. Third class, there we are. So, you know, in third class, if you're late, you don't get your bed sheet. So we use this paper. And you don't remove your shoes. Otherwise, the next morning, you will be barefooted. You don't take pillows. So my bag with my pillow, sleeping there. At around 2.30 in the morning, there's a noise. What's this noise coming? Where is it coming from? You wouldn't believe it. There's around 2.30. The next cut was occupied by a friend, not knowing who he is. 2.30 in the morning, uh, facing Mecca, mumbling his prayers, a brother Muslim, 2.30 in the morning. And since all lights are open, are on during a trip, I felt ashamed that this friend woke up at 2.30 praying. I got up, got my breviary, and also prayed, the two of us, and I said, and I said, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the So prayer is even common with other faiths. Yes. And their fidelity to it is really makes me ashamed of myself. And here he is, Pope Francis in Gaudete et Exultate. Tell me, then say, you cannot do it alone. Hanggang ngayon po, cannot do it alone. Towards the end, now it's all time, the other. I think I, I, in outline form, I have covered much of what I wanted to say. Yeah. Are you happy? <laughs> yes, Paul. Oh, 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 oh. I'll tell you what. Why should I not be? My name is Gaudencio. <laughs> Rejoice. Be glad. Yeah, not only that, it comes from the Latin word Gaudio, Gaudere, Gaudete. Be happy. That's why I cannot. Yeah, I cannot be otherwise. Yes. So I want to thank you for uh, inviting me. And it may help me refresh, read again. Go there to Exultate. Salamat po sa inyo. Magdasal niyo po, pray for me. I will be 90 in a short time. So pray for me. Matandang matanda na po. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. So, thank hindi, you everyone. Hindi po halata. <laughs> Super thank energy. You guys. Thank you. Ano mo, alam niyo kung bakit hindi halata? My hair is white. <laughs> I told my, my friends, no, wait a minute. I told my friends, my former classmates, and I said, I'll give an award uh, to those people who are truthful. So I give medals uh, to my classmates. I 
why only why only he or she oh, because you're a liar <laughs> what you're dyeing your hair your hair the truth is your hair is white so you're <laughs> you're not truthful <laughs> because you're <dying. laughs> <As> but <he, laughs> Monsignor Bong, no, all right. I'm truthful. I'm truthful. <laughs> yeah. Defenseless, truthful man. Hindi po siya pwede mag-dye ng kanyang hair. Then make, you make yourself a liar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maraming salamat po, uh, Lolo Densi. Bago po na kung makalimutan, in the name of our chairman, ng Episcopal Commission on Mission of the Catholic Bishops Conference of the Philippines, the uh, Vicar Apostolic of the of Puerto Princesa, uh, His Excellency Most Reverend uh, uh, Socrates Misiona. Maraming salamat po, Lolo Densi, for sh- being with us this afternoon and sharing with us the joy of the call to holiness, the peace when we are Uh, holy uh, 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 reminding us that we need the Holy Spirit and so we need prayer at uh, sa ating konkretong pamumuhay, this means love, mercy, and forgiveness. O, oh, anong natutunan mo, Margo? Anong natutunan mo? <laughs> Unang-una po, there can be no peace if there is no forgiveness. Mm-hmm. And there are many ways to say I forgive you as there are in saying I love you. Oh, uh, 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 uh. In fact, sinulat niya ni Ambassador Tita Divilia sa chat box eh. Oh. <laughs> may notes, may notes po tayo. Uh, uh. Yes. There are so many orders po congregations in the Zoom um, this afternoon so we hope to be able to read them puro mga initials po kasi yung dulo so magpapagaid po ako kay Monsignor Bong um after po this talk we are so um blessed because uh Lolo Dancy has made himself available for us so those in the Zoom and those who are watching on Facebook please write your questions if you have questions for Cardinal Rosales uh in the comment section And we'll try to read them now. And for those po in the Zoom, please um, write your questions in the chat box and so that we can ask them and forward them to uh, Cardinal Rosales to answer in this webinar uh, today. Um, while we are gathering the questions, um, we would like to first listen to this beautiful rendition of a song um, by the Sonus Dei soloists. Um, who are they're going to be singing uh, about love <laughs> so let's listen now to the sonus day soloist Just in the snow I can never 
Thank you so much po to the Sonos Day Soloists. And they are from the Religious Catechists of Mary from the Diocese of Malolos. And Lolo Densi, i-share ko lang po sa inyo kasi maliit yung mga square sa Zoom. But we have so many um, orders and um, ano po tayo, it's raining women po tayo today. So the orders who are here, pakicorect na lang po ako kasi yung mga initials lang po yung nakikita ko. FMM, SSA, OSC, Ursuline Sisters, OSR, PHHS, OSB, yay, Benedictine, uh, SFI, OSC, RGS, MCST, FDCC, Order of Preachers, Franciscan Missionaries, HGS, OLHRP, MPS, SSA, Religious of Mary Immaculate, RMI, OSC, Columbans, hello po to the Columban. And N S O M P H M C S T and the Saint the poor Clares who are all together now at the monastery of Saint Clare. And dami. <laughs> oh, sure. Wag naman po kalimutan. May mga pare din po. Hindi naman monster po. Gusto mo sa mga Father Rolly Garcia of the Nunciature is here. Hello po. And I don't know if Sister Leah is also here of the Nunciature. Daughters of Saint Paul. Uh, Father Johnny Molina of the Lorenzo Ruiz Mission Society, all the way from Domaguete, kasama din po natin. Imagine, linggo ha, linggo, pero may mga pare, kasama natin ni Lolo Densi. <laughs> For Cardinal Ex Rosales, yes po. And Father Rico Ayo, of course. Opo. O may humabol po, RNDM sisters from Cotabato are also here. All over. So thank you din po to the... Um, Association of Religious A R A R M S P for uh, supporting for supporting this point for collaborating po with us and to Family and Life Father Rico Ayo thank you so much po um, so may uh, question po na pumasok uh, Lolo Densi yeah Margo pwede na o yeah, at least isang question bago isang video no yes sure po okay po give me for the question yes okay mayroon po dito isa oh, in fact may, mayroon ilan na more than one itong okay. una lang po muna bago isang video yes uh, your eminence what is best to say to a person who finds it even more difficult to pray when there are so many things that cause anxiety especially amidst the present pandemic nahihirapan to po magdasal na sa marami pong problema, lalo na sa paano ng pandemya, ano pong inyong ma-advise sa kanya, Lolo Densi? God always listens. Yeah. At any time, God is available. When you make a cell call, a cell phone call, sometimes your pal, the next line is not available. But God is always available. He has no cell phone. And the best thing about God is, now listen to this, God has no past tense. God has no past tense, always present. Yeah. I go to God now. Yeah. And he's, he's not not limited by time. He has no past tense, no future tense, always present. So wherever you are, you have no time. God has time for you. Let it know. It's I think just say something what thing where could you, you think, I have so many things to tell God. I have so many things to tell God. I only request to tell God. Just be there say, God, I need you. That contains the whole encyclopedia of your life. Yes, yes. From the time you were born. So don't think that you have no time. You have your heart knows no time. I just tell it, I need the Lord. You don't have to specify. Now, will you tell me you have no time? You answer that for me. 
Thank you po, Lolo Densi. Thank you for reminding us na at least be there uh, because God is always there. Show up. Yeah. and loving. Margo? There is another question po from Robbie De Leon and it's for the youth. What piece of wisdom can you impart, dear Cardinal, to young people who are struggling to forgive? And how can we embody happiness when there are so many bad things happening in our society and in our world? That will be a little difficult, but again, uh, I obtain the peace relations. Bring yourself to understand. Because sometimes, the remaining, I don't want to call it hatred. It may not be hate, it just be anger. It may be uh, that it, it is there, retained because of a misunderstanding or maybe a limited concern of, of the person, you, the person. So you're going to bring yourself to that openness, yeah. So, but pray to God. It's again, remember what Francis was telling us. Yeah, there are many contradictions. In fact, all those, all those eight, eight beatitudes are contradictions. Yeah, but you must bring in the Holy Spirit. Okay. The thing is that you cannot bring yourself to forgive. Bring the Holy Spirit. And I need you, Lord. I need you. Because, uh, uh, especially now that we don't go to Mass, and uh, okay, not present, and sometimes uh, you cannot uh, receive communion or what. I mean, sacramentally, but spiritually you do. But in some of the prayers I have heard this week, that I'm Lord, yeah. I uh, mean, they're their own, the prayer of the people, not, not just the one that's recited, composed by Alphonsus de Riguri, but make your own, I said, come Lord, yeah. I know I cannot do it now, physically, sacramentally. Ah, yes, but you made us so powerful that by making an act of the will, I can make you present right there now. Yeah. By asking you to intervene and bring me to amity, friendliness uh, again. Forgive, forgive me first of all before you give, forgive the prayer. Think things like that, uh, you're, uh, uh, how could I forgive? Well then, all right, okay. How can I forgive the person? Lord, forgive me first of all, all right. Yeah. Uh, help me first of all. I need this peace, Lord, just as I need you. Yeah, I need this peace. Yeah. Things like that, because Things are no longer in your hand. It must be in the hand of God. Forgiveness is, yeah. Uh, you know, Jesus is very, it, it, in, ingenuity of the way Jesus forgave. You know what? Go to Galilee. Who would ever think of that, that that is an act of forgiveness? Huh? Why? My goodness. Magaling talaga, no? He, he disguised it. Please. Yeah, go to Galilee. Don't tell you. Uh, happy, happy tell you. Let's take dinner together. And he did it. Yeah. That alone. I remember, I'll tell you this. Okay, okay. okay. This part of my life again. I will not invite, I will not. In, uh, I am not going to identify. I know somebody didn't like me. Quarrel with me, right? And I was already in Malay Balay. 
It really hurt me. Truly, it really hurt me. Yeah. But the guy couldn't tell me, I'm sorry. You know what he did? He brought me to Galilee. <laughs> Why? He stood by me and took my hand and squeezed it oh, hard. You know, Bong, I know what it meant. That's like this is telling me. Tell the boys to meet me in Galilee. Then they will hear me say peace. I said, things like that in our life happen. Yeah. Many ways, I heard, many ways. Yeah, good. Thank you. Maraming salamat po, uh, Lolo Densi. Before I forget, yung nagtanong po pala kanina, yung first question uh, was from Dr. Josefina Manabat po. Uh, oh, did you okay? Did you? Uh, oh, nagpapasalamat po siya sa inyong sagot po. Salamat okay. po, Eminem. Salamat po. Yo, thank you for <laughs> yes, <laughs> being here. Long time we have not oh, eaten po. together. <laughs> oh po, great to see you po again. Oh, see you again. Happy to see you po again. And our friends will get together again. Please go. Okay ahead. po. So, makakarating po. Makakarating yeah. po, Eminem. Oh po. <laughs> So we have another question po from Chef Jesse Sinshoko. Oh, um, another friend. Oh my God. Oh, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lola Dedsi. It's, no, it's so nice to see and hear you even virtually. My question po, how do you forgive a person who continuously lies and who makes you angry every time you see him? <laughs> first practical, first practical, first practical suggestion. Don't look at him. <laughs> okay, that will save you. Right but I'm, I'm honestly speaking now, okay. I know there are. Instances like that, yeah, yeah. In all relationships, under uh, under, I would say, the watchfulness of God. As I told you, God has no bastards. Yeah. What would they? I would say, I told this to God. Did I tell this to you? No, you're telling it to me now. I am a being of now, now, now. Now has no, God has no time. If time is always present. Uh, it's just as fresh as the day he created Adam and Eve. As fresh as he created the sun. No, uh, yeah. So you can tell God anything, really. That That's that's one thing is, yeah. You could tell God anything, present, future, past. And that will be now for God. And that person that sort of disturbs us is under the seeing God of now. Pray for that person. Yeah. I know, Lord, that at this present moment, I am praying to you for my peace and sanity. You are also looking at the person from a deeper and hazy angle, distance, which You do not tell me. Thank you po, Lolo Densi. Uh, Pero mas gusto ko po yung unang sagot ni Lolo Densi, yung don't look at him. Biro lang yun. Very practical tip po yun. 
Okay, well, since uh, we, we got a message that the um, Sisters of the Religious Catechists of Mary are also watching. So thank you so much po to the RCM sisters. And um, since we are our audience today, marami po tayong mga sisters and mothers and mother superiors, um, we would like to just show you po um, a clip that hopes to inspire all of us to holiness. Um, last, uh, when we had the papal mass for the 500 years of Christianity, Dominus asked had the opportunity to interview um, Sister Bernadette Rees, uh, the translator of Pope Francis at the Vatican. And she shared with us, um, a portion of the interview was that she shared with us her, um, her story, her vocation story. So uh, we just like to show very briefly this, this clip in line with our um, theme today on the call to holiness and hopefully to inspire others to holiness as well. Let's watch this. Christian vocation is a mystery, and if we allow the Lord to lead us, we end up in places where we never dreamed we would be. So it began with me as a nine-year-old girl, and I had sisters from the Philippines who taught me, so I really owe a lot to you. The Rosarian Dominicans came to my school in Torrance, California, and I was I was really struck by them. And January 31st. 1980, the sisters at my school showed us um, the whole school. It was the Feast of St. John Bosco, the patron saint of youth. They showed the whole school the movie, The Song of Bernadette. I was extremely struck by that movie. It, it really was a way that God spoke to me. And I remember hearing a voice inside of me kind of coming from, from my stomach. It, it wasn't something I heard, but it, I knew the words were you will not be happy in this life unless you become a religious. Well, I went home. Um, I was only 12 and a half. Um, so I went to the library to get the book, The Song of Bernadette, but I couldn't check it out because it was in the adult section. So I stole my mom's library card <laughs> to check the book out. She never knew. Now she knows she's in heaven. But anyway, I read the book from cover to cover. And on the last page, I found what gave me the proof that what I had heard was from God. And the proof was that St. Bernadette died on April 16th, which was the day I was baptized. The daughters of St. Paul invited me for a come and see. And I went down with my parents and two of my younger brothers. I have four brothers. And when I walked into the bookshop, the same voice inside of me let me know that this was home. It's where God wanted me. I tell people now my being... A daughter of St. Paul is as much a part of my DNA as my being a woman. Oh, thank you so much. Sister Bernadette is so inspiring and she's so humble. Um, so, pag nagsulat po kayo to Vatican Media, she will really reply. So she's uh, she's from the daughters of Saint Paul. So there are daughters of Saint Paul po here. So Monsi, are there any other questions po for Lolo Densi? Oh, there are a couple of questions here. Is that for Lolo Densi? Is from a certain Teresa, Teresa, Teresa. Oh, bisaya ako. <laughs> Teresa, sorry, Teresa. Pero wala ka pili po. Uh, ito po ang kanyang uh, tanong po, Cardinal Rosales. Will you enlighten me more? On what you have mentioned, and I quote, you cannot do it alone. So what must I do? That's her question for Lola. I said, these things, of course, came to me in prayer. Uh, it just... This is, that's it, and which is very true, yeah. You know, and we have so many things to do. Like, for example, when I was still active, and I will tell you this, sometimes there are groups that I have to meet 15, 17 groups a day. 
by 11 o'clock. Really, I forgot what I told and who were the people who met me early in the 8 o'clock, the beginning of the office when I received people. By 11 o'clock, we were in the lunchtime. Completely forgotten. And at the end of the day, what? And that's the time when ideas like this, yeah, like what I quoted during the yeah, sharing, God said, then say you cannot do it at all. That was, that was before I became Lolo. Yeah. But I still the still dancing. Yeah. Now I am Lolo dancing. Yeah. So and the, the truth is still there. I cannot do it alone. Yeah. And I suppose that's exactly the message to us. Yeah. I said, good. That's it. Okay, thank you so much, Po. And um, I think Monsignor Bong has another question, Po. Uh, Your Eminence, uh, I guess ang isang sinabi po ni Po Francis sa Gaudetit Exaltate ay not to be a saint is the only tragedy in life or the only true tragedy in life is not to be a saint. Wow! Do you agree po? Ano pong ibig sabihin noon po? I, I, I suppose you say that you, we have to strive to become saint, or at least saintly, more than saintly, real saint. Yeah, I think that's, that's what I that will be tragedy alive. Yeah. I mean, you did not try your best. Right? You do not really try your best. See? But then, of course, he, what I like best that is, he, uh, he, he's good day saying, but when can you be really truly by trying your best to be holy? I said, you cannot separate holiness, right? He said, from humility. There, there is a, uh, there is a, there is, and he said that, uh, you have to be humble. And if you are not humble, you are not holy. Because humanity is, is at the root of all these virtues. And if you, and you don't accept that you are who you are, a sinner, yes, then you are not. In other words, uh, humanity. And, and then he added something. You cannot be, you cannot be holy without being humble. Then he said, but humility is achieved through humiliation. Like this. Humiliation. Dapat kang mapahiya. See? Remember, the challenge is even deeper. Some people have... Uh, okay. When uh, Mother Teresa of Avila was there, yeah. Some of our... Some, some of our monasteries are very, very pure. Very, very pure. Yeah, same as you are. But very, very proud. Yeah, you see? Now, Francis is saying, you cannot be only without being humiliated. Refuse humiliation, humiliation you don't even tumble. But the other side, okay, they are, of the picture is, you know, you know. Yeah. a holy person has a high sense of humor, 
Uh, he said that also in uh, in Gode uh, Tsutate. Okay. Here, here, sound humor. Yeah. You're going to be meaning to say there is no such, there is no such thing as a sad thing. Okay. That I think you've heard about the thing also. Yeah. yeah. But how he has balanced both. Okay. Um, I would say saints are complete persons. Yeah. That's true, that's true. Tamang tama po, Lolo Densi. In fact, Lolo Densi, si Margot is very proud that she is humble. Ang description po ni Monty Bong of himself is he is the most humblest priest. Sorry po, sa corny joke. Kilite. Kilitin, kilite. Lolo Densi, another nice um, quote po from uh, Gaudete is, Life is a mission. Yes, po. Um, okay. Uh, before we end, um, we have a lot of mothers, um, sisters in the in the Zoom. But what about um, ang mga lay women, naman po? So on for um, for lay women, we had the chance to interview uh, for Franciscos on Evangeli Gaudium. We had the opportunity to have with us our Apostolic Nuncio. Archbishop Charles Brown, and this is what he had to say on mothers as evangelizers. Let's listen to this. The most important, the most important evangelizers, evangelizers in the Catholic Church are Catholic mothers. And, and, I'm, and I'm not being flippant or uh, it's the absolute total truth. More people receive the faith and are evangelized by their mothers than anybody else. So all the work that all these priests and bishops are doing, it pales in comparison to the work of Catholic mothers. So to be a wife and a mother is to be an evangelizer in the most profound, in the, probably the, mo the most profound way. So I, now obviously there are also uh, other ways in which w women can be evangelizers. They can be evangelized if they join a religious community um, and become a sister and go on mission um, you know, as a missionary sister, obviously that's a, a beautiful way in which uh, one could live the missionary uh, vocation as a woman. But, you know, the, the family is a place of mission. The family is a place of mission. And to raise a Catholic family is the most profound missionary experience that there is. I mean, you're giving an evangelization experience because you are, you have the ability as a parent to deeply root the Catholic faith in your children. The way nobody else has, um, and so, yeah, um, I think that um, you know, women are at the heart of of of, of the church and at the heart of evangelization, and I think it's important to think about uh, the family as a place of, of evangelization. Thank you so much, Archbishop Charles Brown. So mothers uh, are the, are very important for the domestic church. So uh, we are, um, our time is limited and uh, we are about to conclude. But before that, we would like to ask Cardinal Rosales for his final words, um, final words of wisdom uh, before we close this webinar. Thank you so much and you can hold the again and go ahead and get them here. Thank you very much. Maraming salamat po, Lolo Densi, for being with us and for sharing with us your thoughts and sentiments and prayers. Now we shall listen to the closing remarks by the chairman of the Episcopal Commission on Mission and the Vicar Apostolic, the Apostolic Vicariate of Puerto Princesa, Bishop Sok Mishona. We now come to the end of our webinar this afternoon and it's my role again to close this very interesting topic on our Christian vocation which is the call to holiness. Our discussion is based on the document by His Holiness Pope Francis entitled Gaudete et Exultate.
which is a very timely document because it is about the call to holiness in our present world. And we are so grateful for our speaker this afternoon, His Eminence Gaudencia Cardinal Rosales, or more known to those who are close to him as Lolo Densi. And who else is more credible to speak about holiness than the person who really strives to live a holy life? I personally have been a witness to his holy life way back in Bukidnon when he was the bishop there. I stayed with him for a year as a seminarian on pastoral exposure, and I saw for myself how he would spend quality time for prayer. But it was not all. We knew he was a prayerful man the way he performed his pastoral ministry. He lived a very simple lifestyle and was immersed in people's lives. Your Eminence, thank you so much for the very insightful sharing you have this afternoon. Thank you also to all our participants for joining us this afternoon. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. And of course, we thank Dominus S, headed by Ms. Margot Salcedo, for making this webinar possible. Sa lahat-lahat na tumulong at nakikisa upang ang talakayang ito ay maging isang tagumpay. Sa inyong lahat, maraming maraming salamat po. God bless you all. Thank you so much, Bishop Sok. Naku, may special mention pa. Thank you so much po. And thank you to Pope Francis for writing this very, very beautiful apostolic exhortation. And we hope that we are all inspired to holiness. Um, do try to read it. It's a little long, but we hope that all of you will make the effort to read this very beautiful apostolic exhortation. Um, if you have not read it, um, please uh, visit dominuss.ph and we will put the link to the full text of the uh, Apostolic Exhortation there. Uh, and so, Monsi? Yes, Paul. Uh, we will ask, before we ask uh, uh, Lolo Densi for the final blessing, uh, may I remind all the participants, please uh, switch on your video as if Paul mag uh, picture taking tayo. <laughs> alam, alam niyo po sabi ni Lolo Densi, that is the eighth sacrament. <laughs> Pang ikawalong sacramento ng mga Pilipino po. <laughs> uh, picture taking. Kaya po, uh, switch on po lahat ng uh, inyong uh, video para po mag picture taking. Uh, ano ba maunang picture taking o blessing? Uh, o blessing na maunang yun? Maunang muna yung blessing. So, uh, so... Maunang blessing. <laughs> Kala ko mauna ang eight sacrament eh. Lolo Dense, please, uh, uh, can you give us the blessing of the Lord? Lord be with you. And with your spirit. With the Father and give us His loving care. And the Son give us understanding and forgiveness. And the Spirit give us His bread to new life and inspiration. Now and always. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Paul Nolodensi. Thank you, Pastor Inyo Lahat. Thank you, Kay Bishop Ong Choco and Kay Bishop, uh, of course, my boss, Bishop uh, Mishona. Uh, sa Inyo Lahat. Thank you, po. God bless. Smile. Bye -bye. Smile. I mean, picture, picture. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Paul, also to all the sisters who joined in the Zoom and also all the priests and all the uh, all the participants in the Zoom. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cardinal Rosales, for making time. Bye. Thank you, Paul. May we Thank all be inspired. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Domino Sesti. Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punda 
Kapayapaan Sa senyal na ito Maniwala ang mundo Pagmamahal namin Sa bawat tao Bang daang taong Biyaya Salamat Salamat Panginoon Ang taong bilaya Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Isyong kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tukon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Naririto, handa kami, Panginoon. 